This is a comprehensive guide to setting up the TP-Link RE190. Quick heads up before we start. Your router must be connected to the internet and broadcasting Wi-Fi. Your extender must be plugged into the power socket and the power indicator must be glowing solid blue light. Now we can start. The easiest way of the first connection is by using the WPS button on your router. Usually it's located on the back panel and it's labeled, uh, so you will easily find it. Press the button on your router and then press the diamond button on your extender. And now you just need to wait and monitor your Wi-Fi networks on any gadget. So, uh, you see this TP-Link extender network, soon it will disappear and be replaced by two new networks, which are named same as your main network, my main network is my Wi-Fi, uh, but uh, they will be named a little different with EXT added to the end, now you will see. And also observe the LED lights on your extender, they should glow blue, all four lights or if you have a single band rotor you will see only three in a row so you will not see 5g but now we're all set because we have four lights in a row they are glowing they are not blinking and we have two new networks my wi-fi 2.4 gigahertz extended and 5 gigahertz extended and uh, now let's connect connected without password but if you ask for password the password is the same as for your main network uh, so after this you can just relocate your extender uh, somewhere between the rotor and Wi-Fi dead zone but make sure that the extender is still in rotors range you can check the Wi-Fi indicator it if it starts glowing red it means the signal is too weak and you have to move the extender closer to the rotor. Now let's go ahead. The next method I'd like to show you is a little bit more complicated, but in exchange gives you a lot more control over your extender. Let's connect via web browser. Uh, first of all, we need to connect to the extender's network. Go to your Wi-Fi settings and select the TP-Link extender from the networks list. Click on connect, then go to your browser and in the address bar type the following IP address. This one, 192.168.0.254 and press enter. It takes you to the create login and password page. Let the password be simple, but not too simple. Now you need to log in using your just created password and it instantly takes you to a quick setup menu. From here you need to select the Wi-Fi network you wish, you wish to extend, enter your current Wi-Fi password, tap, click on next and then select the 5 gigahertz network. Click on next once again, check if everything is correct because if the passwords are not correct, the connection will not be established. If everything is okay, click on confirm and then here you can rename your extender if you wish so, for example, to tell apart different extenders from different rooms, but let me stick with defaults for now. And that's it and now you can just relocate your extender to the place where it serve the best. Uh, now let's connect to the network. My Wi-Fi, 5 gigahertz. So uh, once again, the router's name is My Wi-Fi. It means the extender's name is My Wi-Fi EXT. So let's connect to 5 gigahertz. Check I have connected to the extended network and click on finish. We have some unresponsive page here tplinkrepeater.net okay let's exit page and let's try to enter settings in another way let's try to 
type the IP address once again 192.168.0.254 actually if you don't want to set up your uh, Wi-Fi and your extender you can close this video and continue to uh, browse your internet but if you wish to explore some settings stay with us i will show you this so if you can't enter the settings the extenders admin panel using the ip address or using the tp-link repeater.net address in this case you need to go to your main routers admin panel first um, usually it has the ip address 192.168.0.1 now you need to enter your routers administrator password login to your router and here you need to make your way to DHCP settings so uh, it depends depends on your routers model but in my router it's in network DHCP server the HCP client list so you need to select your router from the DHCP client list and copy its IP address just control C or command C on Mac then paste it and now you can log in don't forget your password better write it down somewhere it says that we are logged in somewhere else okay let's close all other tabs okay uh, you see what happened uh, if you have the same problem just close all other other tabs where you tried to log in and that's it now we are in settings so what what can we, can we do from here we can connect your extender to one mesh network uh, to tp link cloud we have some advanced settings which are not the focus of this video uh, and the most important here is backup and restore i think because you cannot do it from the smartphone you can do it from the web browser only so when you set the successful configuration i think you wish to create the backup file uh, because if if in some day you will need to reset your extender you don't want to set it up from scratch once again you you want just make it make it easy to do this just create backup file uh, click keep here if you see this message and later after reset you can go back to your settings and upload this file here and restore all your settings also from here you can make soft reset or hard reset but that's okay for browser settings let's move ahead to the next method and my favorite way to connect the TP-Link extenders is via Tether application in smartphone because this is super simple and gives me almost full control over 90% of settings. So uh, once again, make sure that you have the power indicator glowing solid blue here and let's go to the Play Store or App Store to download the application. I, I have it installed already so let's go to the application if you don't have the tp-link account you will be asked to create one it's super simple so i will not explain it in uh, this video just register like on facebook or somewhere else and then it will take you to my devices screen if you are not on this screen tap on the border uh, icon and select my devices from here uh, now I'm connected to my main routers network. That's why I don't see the extender in this list. So let me switch the networks. Go to Wi-Fi settings. Select TP-Link extender. 
once connected, I can go back to the application. I see RE190 here, but if you don't see uh, your extender here, you can tap on the plus icon, tap on add a range extender, then confirm that LED is solid on. And wait for searching to be completed. Connecting to the extender. And that's it. Now you have to create the device password for access from browser or another smartphone to the extender setting. Let it be simple for now. Let's tap on next. And now scroll down until you see your main network name and tap on its name and enter your current Wi-Fi password. Tap on next. Then select your 5 gigahertz band network. Enter your password once again. Tap on next. Check if everything is correct and tap on next once again. Here you can rename your uh, extenders as in browser, tap on next and wait for settings to be applied. Now look at your extenders LED lights. When everything is completed you will see a four in a row or three in a row if you have single band rotor. four in a row we see four in a row now but something is still going on in our smartphone and we have to wait and that's it now you have four LED lights in a row and this screen it means you're all set and you can relocate the extender now to the Wi-Fi dead zone within the rotor range and look at the Wi-Fi LED signal if if it's red, it means you need to move the extender closer to the rotor. If it's blue, it's okay and your extender works and extends your Wi-Fi. Uh, when you're okay with the location of the extender, tap on next. Now you can connect to your Wi-Fi. This is our extended 2.4 gigahertz network. If you don't see 5 gigahertz network, just wait for a while or try to restart the Wi-Fi on your smartphone. Okay, let's restart. I wish to connect to 5G. Yes, here it is. 5G EXT. Let's connect. Okay, connect it without password. But the password is the same as for your uh, main rotor, just in case you need it. Let's go back to the application, login in, and that's it, everything is working well. And now you can manage the most part of settings from the more tab. Uh, the main thing here is one mesh. One mesh means uh, all your extenders, all your rotors will be connected into a unified network and your gadgets will automatically connect without passwords uh, for the fastest possible speed. Uh, and some advanced settings, some system settings, but this is not the topic of this video. For now you're all set and I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and be awesome. Bye guys.